Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you what a logbook looks like in an employee record and how to manage and access logbook settings. Now it's worth a mention that all customers have the logbook area, um, but we also have the logbook designer where you can customise existing logbooks and create your own as well. So in this video I'm going to be discussing the logbook without the designer licence. So to make sure you're in the right place first, um, this is how you can check if you have that designer licence. So first of all you would go into the settings tab and then into your licenses and then scroll down and find the logbook designer. So if that's a red cross, you're in the right place. And if you have a green tick, it means you do have the designer license. So the best place for you to go now would be the customize the logbook article, which is linked below this video. OK, so first of all, what a logbook looks like in an employee record. So if we just go into the employees tab and any record into their logbook, you have the list of drop downs here, so this is all the logbooks that you have available. And say if I click in one, I can then add a training record and they can fill this out here. Now you can also manage the access of this, which we'll be talking about a bit later. So now to access and manage your logbook settings, if you go into the settings tab and then logbook. So first of all, you've got the screen type here, so user screens and system screens. So you have many preloaded logbooks that we have given for you. And you can also search them here if you get quite a long list. Now, next to each logbook, you will find an eye icon, and this is where you can manage the access. So for example, this may only be available for, say, I might only need this for the training team. So that means the, the list of logbooks that you found in the employees tab, only the training team is going to have this logbook in that list. And you can click save. OK, so now if we go into a logbook, so let's go into vehicle details. Now, first of all, you have the in use button. So if you untick this, this means the logbook is not going to be available for anyone. You can change the name of the screen. So for example, I might want to call this company car details instead of vehicle. And then I can change the access here. So for example, um, our process would be the manager would update the employee's company card details when they get them. So manager updates and employee can only view. Or you can select no access, so again, that won't be available for them. Now here are the list of fields that you have. So you can click edit and you can check whether it's mandatory, which means, of course, this information would have to be filled out by the employee or manager in order for the logbook to save. Private, so only the admin can see this field, and show in list, which means when you go back into the employee's record, it's the free first fields that you want to see as a quick look before you click into the logbook. So for example, I want the make to be mandatory, because that's the information I need to know, and the model. I can also move these up, so if I want that to be over here, I can, and I can bring that down here as well, and click Save. Now that is how to access and manage your logbook settings. Now, as mentioned at the start of the video, if you have the logbook designer license, you can do everything that I've just showed you and so much more. It's a really great feature. You can create your own customized screens to log any type of information you want. So if you do want to demo that, feel free to email your accounts manager at ecb at peoplehr.com and they can book you a demo. Thank you.